Hello everybody, and we're about to continue our Let's Play series of Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age. In our last episode, we actually found Reb, and he looked a lot different. He had been, I think, I don't know if he was meditating or just really, really resting for a very long time, but he has been, like, emaciated. He doesn't even look like Reb anymore. But we're going to try to go get him by going into the void. And there's Rab. Looks like he hasn't eaten in months. It is time to depart for the place to which every soul must go, but from which few ever return. It is time to perform the right. What is this foolish dance? What manner of ritual is this? My own, my In the void. Another wandering soul drifts into my domain. Welcome, child. To the end of your journey, destiny is cruel indeed to send me one so young. This may be a fruitless question, given the vacant expression you wear, but do you know what fate awaits you here? He is wise beyond his years. An intellectual giant. I must return to the world above and tell everyone I met such a marvel. Do you think me a fool, boy? Do not pretend. There is no need for pretense here. You are ignorant. This is as it should be. Let me unburden you of at least a little of your ignorance. I will explain in simple terms that even an idiot may understand. As you see, this world is a blank slate. It is a place of nothingness. Before Yggdrasil fell, departed souls would come here before returning to the World Tree. But now that the tree is gone, it is a place with an entrance but no exit. A dead end for the dead. A spiritual cul-de-sac. What I'm trying to tell you is that you will never leave this world. Before long, your soul will dissipate and be lost to the void. As long as the cycle of souls is interrupted, all who die will suffer the same fate. Until at last, the Lord of Shadows is the only one who remains. This is your destiny. Accept it, for you cannot change it. Or do you cling to the vain hope that the heart of Yggdrasil may be recovered from Mordigan's clutches? If you do, you are a fool. And yet, you would not be alone in your foolishness. There are others who refuse to accept that all is lost. Some people just don't know when to give up. <sighs> when bright brand bores through heaven's doors, the sun shall rise or darken skies and banish night with holy light. There's Reb. Yes. 
<laughs> Did you think that he chose death out of a sense of despair? You could not be more wrong. He came here with hope in his heart. The hope that one day he will defeat the Lord of Shadows. Your grandfather came to find me so that I might teach him the last of my secrets. You know who I am, of course. Foolish child. I am Pang, Grand Master of Angrila. <laughs> your grandfather's teacher and tormentor. Do you see the magic circle that surrounds him? The precise pattern of movements draws energy from the ether and channels it to create the Mandala of Yggdrasil. This is the final secret. He has been flailing away like this ever since he arrived here. It is not good for him at his age. But when the Great Sigil is complete, he will have mastery over a power not seen since the Age of Heroes. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Get out, mate! Don't you dare give up now! I'll beat your <laughs> bottom black and blue, I swear it! There's the naughty stick. Oh. Pretty impressive. Well, would you look at that? Perhaps he is not completely useless after all. <sighs> hey, did you see that? I finally did it! Oh, it was beautiful! Hmm. Yes, very impressive. I thought you had gone soft in your dotage, but it seems you still have some guts. Well done. Jinx! Grandmaster Pang! Was that... praise? Hoo-hoo! For the first time in my long life, she's <laughs> actually paid me a compliment. Oh, that's worn my cockles more than a hundred nips of the hard stuff. Ugh. Perhaps if you could stop congratulating yourself for one moment and squint beyond the end of your bulbous nose, you would see we have a visitor. Oh my! Is it... is it really you, laddie? Oh, not you as well. Your poor young life snatched away from you. It's not fair. It's not fair, I tell you. Oh, stop your sniveling. The boy is alive. He's what? But, but what's he doing here then? He and his friends found your body and sent his soul from the world above to bring you back. Ah, oh, really? But I only came here to... And you went to all that trouble. As you can see, I'm perfectly fine. Finer than ever, in fact. Now that I've learned the final secret, you and me are going to be unstoppable. Come on! Let's get back to our bodies and show that Lord of Shadows what we're made of! Stop right there! Where do you think you are going? I can't thank you enough for all you've done, Grandmaster. But now that my training's finished, I need to be on my way. <laughs> finished? Oh, but we haven't even begun. Honored Luminary, if you would like to follow me.
Your grandfather has mastered the last secret of Angry La. He now has the power to send enemies straight to the beyond. It is a technique first devised in the Age of Heroes by Morkant, brother in arms of the Luminary of Legend. For you, I have a technique no less impressive. An attack of such incredible power that it can tear through all four dimensions. It was devised by Erdwin himself during his training with Ai Yi, our first Grand Master. And it will give you strength beyond reckoning, Luminary. Well, that can't be a bad thing. Me with Morkant's spell and you with Erdwin's attack. We'll be unstoppable. If you can master it. None since Erdwin has been able to do so. The training you must undergo to acquire this power will be more intense, more relentless, more excruciating than any you have faced before. Well, do you think you have what it takes to endure this most trying of trials? I knew you would make the right choice. Now, let us begin. The first step is to focus your mental energies and call forth a blade of pure light. Hold out your hand and try. As good as can be expected for a first attempt. The heat of battle should help to speed you up a little. Battle? You mean you're going to fight him? Oh, no, the, the poor lad's not ready. Me? Why would I rumple my nice clean robe when I have you to do my dirty work for me? B what? You're, you're going to make me fight my own grandson? Who better, Lord Robert? You have mastered all our secrets now. There is no one better suited to the task. And besides, I've always wanted to see two princes of Dundrasil battling it out. Let me know when you are ready to begin. Okay, let's see how this goes. Before we continue, Allow me to give your grandfather an unfair advantage. All in the name of speeding up your training, of course. Mm. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh, I have not felt this alive in decades. Let me add a little blighter. <laughs> That's the spirit. Don't hold back. Show him the true power of our last and greatest secret. Just you watch me. Luminary, prepare yourself. Beat back the onslaught and unleash the technique if you can. The more you use it, the stronger it will become. You must practice until it is perfect. Here I come, laddie. It's time to show you what this old man can do! Come on then, laddie! Show me your strength! Witness the power of a true disciple! Wow. A lot of damage. is wet.
need. Wonderful. I couldn't have beaten him more soundly myself. I must say, I doubted you had it in you. But you have proved me wrong. And for once, that is no bad thing. We have mastered Quadraslash. The power of the technique comes from your heart. Hone that greatest of weapons and none will be able to stand before you. Now, I think it's time we peeled that old degenerate off the flagstones, don't you? You beat me, even with the last secret of Angrila in my side. Oh, I can't believe how much you've grown, laddie. You weren't too much of an embarrassment, no. Perhaps I finally have a disciple worthy of the name. <gasps> oh! So this is where you have been hiding. Wait, I know that voice. Mordigan. Sniveling worms. You thought to escape my clutches by cowering here in this ruined world. You have only delayed the inevitable. No! Ah! Ah! Curse you! I had thought your powers could not reach us here. <laughs> it seems I underestimated you. So inconsiderate! There was one last thing I wanted to teach you. I have a feeling Grandmaster Pang's not going to make it through this. Fine. It seems we must do it the hard way. You two will just have to learn the ultimate ability here and now. Or die trying. What? So the last secret of Angry La was not the last one? And Quadra Slash wasn't either? Of course not, foolish man. There is another. A supreme skill devised by Grandmaster Ayi. One that Erdwin and Morkan performed together. Well, don't just stand there. <laughs> Combine your powers. Revive the technique that was lost to us so long ago, so that I can die happy. You dare to resist me? You must do exactly as I say. Exactly when I say it. <gasps> we have only one chance. Robert, do not think. Use the technique I taught to you. Quickly! <sighs> uh, yeah! Now, Luminary! Unleash Quadra Slash! Yeah! 
Yes, the last and greatest of all the secrets of Angrila. The technique to end all techniques. Solar Flare! Back with us. Oh. Oh. But he is greatly weakened. We must get him to the temple right away. Exhausted after the events of the void, Rogue falls into a deep sleep. In his dreams, he sees the smiling face of Grandmaster Pang, lit by the light of the ultimate ability of Anger Law. You are finally awake. Good. I feared you had suffered some lasting injury. Lord Robert awoke a short while ago. He is outside speaking with the High Lama. We should join them. And I think this is a great stopping point for us. What an episode. New powers. Enemy encounters, lots of fun times here. <laughs> really hoping Grandmaster Pang did not fall in the void, though. That would be, be kind of sad. Yeah, in the next episode, we'll talk to Lord Robert, or Rab, <laughs> and see what's next for us. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in, and we'll be talking again real soon. <laughs>